All right, so I cleared the frames in the timeline so that I can add in the new keyframe that I, or the new uh, in-between between between these two keyframes that I think help transition. I built it here. And it's all combined on this one layer. So I select it all. I copy it. Command-C, and I paste it above the layer I want it to appear above. And you notice how its resolution is way, way bigger. So what I need to do is I need to make the assets and the stage resolution match if they're not. And to do that, I go to Image, Image Size, and we want this to be 8 inches by 8 inches with resample checked by 150 pixels per inch. That's a good high def screen resolution. Anything larger than that, if we create more than like 20 frames, is not gonna be able to be saved as a GIF anymore. It just takes up too much memory for that format. Okay, so now I can do the same. And at its new resolution, paste it in, and you see how it will match. There to there. Now that's still a pretty big movement, I think, especially with the eyes coming closer together. So I think I want another frame. So I'm gonna save my progress here, and then I'm gonna to try to bring it closer to this, another in-between from this to this. So I deselect and I delete that combined layer. And then I'm going to play first with the eyes. Here, what's a good way to do this? I'll actually take the eyes from the other one, which are there, duplicate them, and then split the difference between the two. So I want eyes that are halfway between this position and this position. That is why they're called in-betweens. Then same with this. Oops, I'm moving both of them because I have auto select group turned on. Okay, then I can also do that same thing with the whites of the eyes. So I want to go from where they are here halfway. So let's find the whites of the eyes. See what the next step was. The next step was that. So I'm going to duplicate that and then work in between them. Maybe there makes, uh, it's a little too close. Let's see, shrink it down. Okay, I think that's the position. So I'm going to duplicate that. Flip it horizontally and move it to the other side. The advantages of symmetrical design.
and then turn off the one behind it. And then the nose, the nose needs to get a little bit closer to this nose. No, this nose. No. <laughs> anyway. This nose. Oops. And I'll increase its opacity by a little bit. And then the ears duplicate them. Make them a little bit more opaque. Whoops, why did it not duplicate everything? There we go. Make that duplicate more opaque. And then just make them a little bit bigger. Again, fitting them between that and that. All right, let's try it. Go to my topmost visible layer. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Select All, Copy, Command C, Paste on top of the frame I want to put it on top of. There we go. And now it goes from normal to less normal. <laughs> If anything, I think I can make the nose bigger. Yeah, in this one. Or maybe the nose, let's see. Yeah, actually, that works okay. It's a pretty big jump to the nose here. but I can live with it. Or maybe I do want to mess with this frame. Just change this frame a little bit. So then I can go back to assets. And this is me getting a little like over perfectionist. And I'm going to rebuild that frame. Almost there. Yes, those are the right ears. Different is the mouth, the nose.
And what I'm trying to do is actually create a better, a better frame than this one. So the eyes, I think, are the, the main change. Instead of them being so angled, I'm going to make a different asset for the whites of the eyes. Let's just try that. Jump so much. Okay, hold down option, layer merge visible, select all, copy, paste on top, and then. I like it, delete the frame it's replacing. I think I do like it. So I'm going to replace this one. Oh, I do think I need that mouth movement though. Yeah, so this is why, you know, it's very detail oriented animation. Deselect, delete that layer. I have to change the mouth. I have to move to the next mouth shape. And instead of having it squiggle on the top and bottom, I think I'll just have it squiggle on the bottom. Like that, so it starts to move down. Okay. Go to the top, option, layer, merge visible, select all, copy, command C, command V, paste where I want it. Right there. Let's go from here to here to here to here. To here. Yeah, good. Okay. So now that I've done my in betweens, I can run another animation test. I, I say on the timeline window, make frames from layers. I drag the bottom white frame to the trash. I hold down shift, select all of them, set them at a default timing of 0.3, which is my preferred default, and then play it through. Good. So now it's a little bit smoother. I like the little panting of the um, of the tongue at the end. So what I'm going to do is now animate within the frame. And animating within the frame means you take your frames and then you just repeat them, play them at different times, change the timing. I already talked about how it might be nice to start with a little bit different timing. I do half second for that first one. I'm going to change these pretty quickly up until we, so these four, I'm going to change to 0.25, just a little bit faster than 0.3. This is making.